Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Dan Potts with me. We've just been knocked out of the Europa League by Sporting CP, 5-4 in penalties. Dan, it's a painful one, but we're out. Yeah, man. Um, performance as bad as the weather tonight for me. I thought it was shocking, um, particularly in that second half. I just thought it was really poor. Mm. You know, the front three weren't right tonight, in my opinion. Not in terms of the team selection, just all of them just looked a bit off of it. I don't know if they were tired or if it was exhaustion that got the best of them. And unfortunately for me, mate, you know, I just listened to Lee and he's not happy about the team. I looked at the team selection and I thought he's actually gone stronger in yeah. certain positions than I thought he was going to. I expected to see Turner. Yeah. Like that back line was not what I expected to see. I thought Kivio or Holding might have got in there. A Tierney as well, maybe? Do you maybe a Kieran Tierney as well. So I looked at the side, but if you're going to bring everybody on anyway, what is the point of doing that? You might as well start your strongest 11, which is what I wanted to see the whole week coming up to this. Absolute breeze in the park against Fulham. Yeah. Opportunity for us to just play our strongest 11, get the job done, then take your five subs off. Yeah. yeah, Take your five best players off. Because when I looked at that team out there tonight, we missed Party because Jorginho off the ball is terrible. We missed Saka because Reese Nelson wasn't having the best. To be fair, neither was Martinelli. As I say, none of the top front three were. We missed Saliba when he went off because Rob Holden, who I thought actually had a half decent game when he came on, mm -hmm. um, we, we, he's not Saliba. So we're missing with these players anyway. When you're going to finish with that team that, let's be fair, is our best team, yeah. might as well just start that, get his 1 0 at half time. You never know, we could have got even more uh, out of the game than that, and then take your five best players off. Yeah. And we haven't done that tonight, you know, and it's cost us. And you know, I, I think it would have been criminal if we would have won that tonight, Cecil. Yeah, no. Oh, I, I, they, we did not deserve that, mate. They, they came here and they made it hard for us. Big up their manager, by the way, because the way they play football is actually half decent. Yeah. They were dirty, they were, they were hacking us, they were making it hard for us. And it's one of those nights that I thought, this isn't going to work for us tonight. You know, yeah. I sat there around the stadium, there weren't really that lift that you thought you were going to expect. And um, we'll find, wait and find out whether this is a good thing or a bad thing in terms of the Premier League. But I'm disappointed tonight, mate. I'm not yeah. going to sit there and say, yeah, go on, that don't matter. It's all about the league. It's all about the Premier League. But this is a European competition, which we are an embarrassment, by the way, in our club's history. Yeah. European trophies are not something we like, mate. And we proved that tonight in our performance. I thought it was really poor. You know, I've got to call out some of the players, like Fabio Vieira. You know, he's in a box and he's trying to flick it, hit yeah. the thing. Mm -hmm. Trossard, likewise, hit it. Yeah, good save from Gabriel's header. But other than that, did we test their keeper that much? No. Really? I no. didn't look at the performance and I'm not pleased with that. You know, we have to look at ourselves on Sunday now and we have to win this game. Are you concerned? Are you concerned for Sunday? Because you, like you mentioned, a lot of the first team players end up on the pitch. It's all about momentum, mate, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, after we went out of the last competition at Man City, what happened? We couldn't beat Everham, we couldn't beat Brentford, and we couldn't beat Man City. So now we've got to make sure we bounce back from it, mate, because what I don't want is this to affect the team, affect the momentum, and then everybody's looking at Arsenal again. Is this going to be when they buckle? Is this going to be the pressure? Prove it ain't, man. Listen, that international break could come at a good time. You never know. It could do. We've got to now try and beat Palace, and then we have a break, and then we go again. Because for me, mate, it's all about this Premier League now, because this, this team right here deserves to win something this season. If we don't win something this season, it has been a bad season for me. Because this this season deserves, this team, sorry, deserves to win something this season, mate. And I just hope we can do it, man. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform. So check it out.